Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 8th of 2017. It's uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm not going to try to limit this to uh, 10 minutes. I'm just going to run a little bit longer. 10 minutes really limits me. I'll try not to make it too much longer than that. Uh... The Republicans have put forward their health care plan and the Republicans, uh, conservatives, uh, hate it. And President Trump is saying, you know, that that's his plan and it'll be an electoral bloodbath if it doesn't pass. And uh, Republicans do not like it at all. The Republican <clears throat> right wing, the conservative people, here's their site, red st well, one of their sites, Red State. Um, they're calling it a uh, shit sandwich. Uh, they're calling it Obama light. Uh, so... We have a mess. It's it's too bad that that the Republicans have been so crazy on the subject of Obamacare. You know they they rejected it entirely. It was Obamacare was strictly a you know a Democratic Party bill that passed. It's too bad that instead of Excuse me. Instead of spending seven years uh, when Obama was in office trying to destroy Obama and destroy Obamacare, I think they voted, what, 60, at least 68 times to repeal it. Uh, it's too bad they didn't then start saying, hey, we hate it. But here are proposals that we will make that you can change this, change this, do away with this, add this. They had seven years, and for seven years they refused positively to cooperate in any way to offer any constructive proposals. Uh, their entire, in the first four years of Obama, they just wanted to totally destroy him so that he could not be reelected, and when he was reelected, they decided, you know, they were just going to make sure he didn't have any successes at all, and they were just going to not cooperate in any way at all. If if this time, if those seven years or the eight years, you know, let's say eight years of Obama, if the Republicans had just, you know, I. I didn't expect the Republicans. I wouldn't expect the Republicans. Or if, if the situation were reversed, I wouldn't expect the Democrats to say, okay, well, you won, so we're going to give you everything you want. But what they could have, what the Republicans could have done is said, you know, like I said before, we don't like it. Here's changes we think we can make to Obamacare. <coughs> so, and the AARP, uh, Americans, Americans retired or whatever, you know, the, uh, lobby group for older Americans, they just came out on the new Republican health care plan, Trump care, and they don't like it one bit and they spell out <coughs> what their objections are to it. I think back here at, uh, why this influential group opposes the health care plan comes out against it and uh, the AARP uh, Obamacare is in very bad shape I, I forget exactly their words but so that that's a strong lobby uh, and they make it very clear they don't like uh, that the plan is, let's see, 
They say, quote, this bill would weaken Medicare, Medicare's financial stability, dramatically increase health care costs for Americans aged 50 to 64, and put at risk the health care of millions of children and adults with disabilities and poor seniors who depend on Medicaid program for a long time for long term services and support and other benefits, etc. So we got a mess. Uh, I think the Republicans really they just want to repeal Obamacare. They want to destroy it, decimate it, smash it into the ground. And then they'll they will <coughs> they'll pass what they want to pass, which is not you know insurance for America. You know it's not health insurance for Americans. Uh, I'm seventy five. I'll be seventy six this month. And you young pups, you know, don't remember uh, the Republicans since the very beginning, since. Franklin D. Roosevelt, uh, they opposed Social Security, and they opposed Medicare, and they hated <coughs> Franklin D. Roosevelt, I mean, vilified him. Uh, they just were fucking crazy on the subject. And on Medicare, uh, they they just hated it. They wanted it done away with. They considered it communism. They considered it Satanism. They considered it just, I mean, just everything evil. And the American people for a long time, <coughs> the American people love Medicare. And Republicans had a really hard time getting elected, especially to the Senate and especially to the presidency. <coughs> I'm sorry. So the uh, Republicans had to ch finally change their thing to, you know, we want to save Medicare. Oh, we love, we, well, they, don't, they, they can never bring themselves to say they love it. <coughs> it had to be that they were going to save it. So, uh, my cold is better. Uh, the reason I got this hat on is because of this uh, band-aid I got on top of my head, which you've seen in my videos for the last, since the first, for eight days now. I finally covered it up. Because it, it looks like the <coughs> dressing hasn't been changed. It's been changed every day. But Hillary was the one that put the Band-Aid uh, under each day, and uh, she put it on like the same way, and it looks like it's been there for a week. It's actually been changed every day. After I took a shower, then she put it on. Hillary now has a cold, and she's going to be returning to uh, Russell's apartment because she's got a cold and she can't do... Can't do anything more here. Uh, she needs to go take care of herself. She'll be taking the cat with her. If you watched uh, yesterday's video, you saw the cat. So, uh, let's see. I guess that's enough of politics. Well, let's see. I can hear Hillary. I can. I don't know if the mic's picking up. I can hear Hillary coughing in the other room. So they're calling this. Uh, some are calling, I guess, Ryan Care, and some are calling it Trump Care. <coughs> I finally updated, you know, I'm on the, uh, 
I'm coughing so much here. I'm going to have to stop this for you don't hear me coughing all the time. I'll try to continue a little bit more here. If you watched my video, I'm not sure if it's in my video or if it was on my blog, but uh, I think it was 42 or maybe it was 40. I'm on the update program. Uh, the creator's update build or whatever for Windows 10. And it, uh, I got updates. Well, an update back last week or so would not install, and my computer would try to install it, and about 70, 72% it would stop, and my computer would reboot, and it would try again, and then it would reboot and put back the old version. So I put everything on hold for a while, and then last night, uh, I saw they had a new, a couple, a newer, a couple of new versions since then. So I had to install that. So now I have uh, Windows 10 Creators Update Build 15048. And uh, you can do a search for that if you're, but if you're not, I don't recommend that you do the creators update uh, or fast track or fast ring or whatever. But if you want to find out about it, you can uh, see what's, I guess you could pause it, couldn't you? I could just do that. Here is, uh, or you can go to the site. Here's the improvements and fixes for the PC. Are you back? And... This is from mobile, I think. So, speaking of my blog, here we go. Uh, well, you we are back to politics a little bit. Uh, Trump wants to cut a, a little bit over a billion dollars from the budget of the United States Coast Guard and turn that over to the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, the Coast Guard budget is $9 billion. Homeland Security's budget is, he wants to increase uh, by 6% their budget, which he wants to use the money from the Coast Guard and others. Uh, uh, to make their budget, uh, make the, the uh, Department of Homeland Security budget 43.8%. I really think that's a mistake, cutting any money from the Coast Guard, any at all, because their their budget isn't that big, and for what they do, and in Trump's speech the other day and in other speeches that he's made, you know, he talks about uh, how he supports the United States armed forces and he wants to increase and he's going to increase their budget by and our, our military budget is already unbelievable you know and he wants to put more money into it uh, and also he talks about how much he loves police officers and law enforcement and he wants to support them the Coast Guard is actually a part of the United States Armed Forces. Uh, and it's also a law enforcement organization for, uh, you know, the waters and international waters. And uh, I just think it would be a mistake to cut funding for the Coast Guard. I, you know, I know we need to try to cut where we, where we can but I'd say leave there, you know, leave the Coast Guard's budget away. I'd really like to see them, because I've seen a couple, I'm not sure if it was documentaries or if it was like YouTube videos, or what was, I think it was, wasn't YouTube videos, about the Coast Guard, and I think they have like two or three ice breakers. Uh, and the, the, a lot of the, I think all their ships are, you know, old. Uh, I re they really should have their budget increased 
I really think they're an important uh, function of the United States government. Yes, the United States government, federal government, has things that it needs to do that uh, can't be done by the states. So, uh, what else did I want to talk about? Uh, I think that might be... Let me go back see what I talked about. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm... My cold is better. Uh, I will... I'll get the results of my biopsy for this place on top of my head. I think I'll probably get the results today. And uh, my doctor immediately when he saw it said it was cancer. Then when he did the biopsy on the first, he said 95% sure it is. But he, of course, did the biopsy and that, and that should... Probably, I'll probably get the results, or maybe it, he's going to mail it, I'm sure, to me, the results. Uh, so a lot of people have skin cancer, but uh, I've got a friend that, I've got several friends that have had, that have had it. Uh, when the results come back for the biopsy, I'm expecting it be reported as being, you know, a cancer. I think what you don't want to hear is, I think, melanoma. I think that's what you don't want to hear because that's the one that spreads more or faster or something. Skin cancer usually, I don't, I haven't looked up anything on it, but I, from my, what I understand is uh, usually it's slow growing and doesn't spread too bad. But the melanoma, if you get that, uh, that's not too good. So, uh, tomorrow I have a new one of these coming. I wasn't paying attention. This is slate, so you need chalk to write on it. So I just ordered a, uh, a new one that uh, is like a whiteboard, except it's still black, but you can write. So I have two whiteboards, and I have those pens or whatever, so uh, got that coming in an electrical outlet, another one. I'm always, uh, when uh, compact fluorescent bulbs came out, I converted to those. I had to do it gradually because they were expensive, so every payday or every other payday, I'd buy a bulb or two, and I had, before long, everything in there was compact flesh, and then when LED bulbs came out, I uh, have gone over to them. So just about everything in here is LED bulbs, uh, everything except the kitchen fluorescent fixture that's in there. So uh, anyway, Hillary's going to be leaving today, taking the cat. If you saw the video the other day, you saw the cat. Uh, Hillary is a hell of a worker. And uh, we're going to miss her because it'll be up to my son and I to move uh, Darlene over here. And Hillary and my son moved a bunch of stuff over. So there's not much left, but uh, going to miss not having Hillary here, but she needs to get home and Take, take take care of her cold and I think she probably has exposed I haven't been over there for several days really and uh, but I think Hillary got the cold for me and has probably exposed Darlene and James to it and if Darlene gets a cold uh it always goes immediately to her rest, her chest, to her respiratory area. And she has asthma and bronchitis and a lot of 
problem, so that could be uh, that could be a problem. So I guess maybe the next video you hear from me or see will I'll probably be giving you the results of my biopsy. So I uh, I thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna rest my throat. <laughs>